want to share a story about issue solving and a team that got to a goal six months early and then almost lost it because issues were not being brought up at the production level. This was a highly regulated financial, legal, transactional business, and their goal was to get to 600 transactions a month by the end of the year. Well, as it turned out, they landed a huge client in June, and we're gonna hit that number by the end of the summer. They were ready. They had fixed processes, they had trained, they had automated stuff, the morale was high, and when July came, it crashed and burned. Now, interestingly enough, in the quarterly just before this, the leadership team had said managers were complaining that people at the production level didn't seem to know how to bring up issues and, and weren't bringing up. They were just kind of sitting back looking like, what are we supposed to be doing here? So we gave them a list of questions to try and get a response. The question that most grabbed them was, what is annoying? you about your job every day. During the crashing and burning, they continued to have all their level 10s. And finally, one of the production people kind of raised their hand and said, you know, I'm annoyed. I get 350 emails a day at least, and half of them I don't even need to look at. But I don't know which half I'm not supposed to look at because we're so regulated and everybody thinks got to be so perfect. Well, it took some digging, but three to four weeks later, they had figured out how to cut down the number of emails and had it so that the average was now 60 emails per person per day. It uncorked the bottle. And the next thing you know, everything's back on track, accuracy is good, customer service is good, and they roared into the end of the year in fine fashion. So be sure that your production level people are, are bringing those issues up. And we have a list of questions from the EOS blog um, in a link here that you can use. So that's my nugget for today.